Hey guys, good morning. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shelf Floss Tube, and today we have a lot of fun stuff. We have a temperature chart that we're going to talk about for 2023. We have our Peppermint Lane series. We have Barn Sweet Barn. We have Jolly Housewives, and then I have a fun addition that I added kind of last minute, and then we have a lot of Cheryl's finishes. So we have a ton of stuff, and um, just pop in with questions when you have them. And just try to remember when I'm going through this, I'm trying to go through every single detail. Um, so if you, if it's helpful to you, get a pencil and write the details so that you don't ask the same question that we already go over. Um, but I'm gonna start with a temperature chart. So um, I've never done one of these before. We had a lot of customer requests for them over the years. So we decided to design one for 2023. So this is like a floss diary and you complete it throughout the year. So each little plus sign is that day's temperature. So what we did is I'm gonna be stitching mine on the 25 count Cloud Lugana. So you could use that, you could use white, um, Ada, you can use whatever you want. But basically we're just using a basic white. So I'm gonna use the 25 count Cloud. And I'm gonna show you two pop-up images. So the first one, this is charted if you did a daily stitch of the temperatures in 2021. That's how it would look because it's kind of like all year different colors. So that's Austin, which is like a hotter city. And then Chicago is a colder city and that's how it would look. So what we did is um, Cheryl, Denise, and I picked 23 colors that we thought would still look pretty even if it's all mixed and matched. And we tried to put the prettier colors on the more frequent days. And um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. So this dark blue is like January. The light blue is February, March, April, May. That's how it's charted. That's not how you're gonna stitch it. You're gonna stitch it by the temperature each day. So this explains what a temperature chart is. And so for example, the arrows are January's. You just pick whatever day you want to go there and you just go in whatever order you want. <clears throat> and so like I said, this would be like, if you wanted to use, if you live in a hot range, you would use this. If you live in Chicago, like a colder range, you would use this. Or if you just want to use a random range, you can use this. <coughs> Hold on a second. Sorry, I'm a little sick. <coughs> and so what you have here is you would put your, your temperatures in here. And... Um, I'm gonna take a cough drop, sorry. So what we're recommending, if you look on the first page, is taking the average temperature. And we give you a, a weather site you can go to. You could also just use an app on your phone, but basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put the average temperature in each day. And then what you'll do is look at that temperature and use whichever guide you wanna use here, so I'm gonna use the hot range and then I would put my DMC color. And that's for all year, we have all the dates. And like this is January, so then I would do, I'm gonna do seven at a time. So the first week, like I'm gonna do Monday through Sunday, every Sunday I'm gonna do seven stitches or seven little plus signs, basically. So this will be really fun. It's something we've never done before. So we've got the PDF pattern, it's a low price pattern. We have the thread pack. I'm sure you already have a white cloth. I would do something very simple, nothing busy, nothing with a lot of color because you want your um, temperature stitches to stitch out. So I really recommend a white. I'm gonna stitch throughout the year. And like I said, each Sunday, I'm gonna do a stitch. Um, and you just pick, like there's 31 dark blues because there's 31 days in January. And so you'll just follow along. And this, I think it'll be really fun. And I think it'll be fun to see different cities and how different cities turn out. Um, so that's our temperature chart. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, 
and we hope you like the colors we picked. And thank you so much to Valeria Bauer for the super chat. Okay, so we're so excited to start stitching the Houses on Peppermint Lane series by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. So Lori sent us her samples in March and I fell in love with her design. So we recolored it in a scheme that would match my house and decor. So I'm gonna pop up some images of her pieces. So this is her piece as one design, so all nine charts in one. And then these are if you stitched it individually. Do you have the, where's the info on what she stitched? So her model was stitched on Oaken 36 count fabric by Picture This Plus. Um, that color is really hard to get. We've had it on order for a while. So if you want something similar to what she did, Brown Sugar by Fiber on a Whim would be similar to what uh, Lori did. And we have it in multiple size options. What I'm doing is I'm using 14 count Vintage Country Mocha or 14 count Oatmeal, either one. And I'm using the modeled side. So on our site, you can either buy the 14 count oatmeal or you can buy the 14 count vintage country mocha. And when um, we run out of one, we're ordering the other. Now the 14 count oatmeal is gonna be out of stock until March because Riley Blake is out, but we have vintage country mocha on order. You're gonna need a one yard piece, but if you're doing with these, you need five packages. So I bought five packages of this. <clears throat> and what we did is we colored this, like I said, to something that would match my house a little bit more. And so there's a color guide for each chart. There's nine charts. And so our color conversion is in this thread pack. That's the only way to get the color conversion. It's just like going to a brick and mortar. If you, if you get the color conversions there, you have to pay for the pattern or you have to pay for that. So this is the thread pack. We, um, they're selling really good. As they sell out, I'll order more. And so this is Peppermint House. And I can tell you the second one is Gingerbread House and it looks really good because um, I have it stitched. I'm going to be stitching mine all separately and um, I'm leaving this bottom row off. This is going to go January through September with one pattern a month. And so like I said, for um, the fabric, 14 count oatmeal or 14 count vintage country mocha. And if you want something similar to Lori, this is brown sugar by fiber on a whim. And if you want to stitch it as like one big piece, um, the stitch count is 227 by 347. And if you wanted to do that, I would recommend using our cross stitch calculator to find out the finished, um, your finished size according to what fabric you're using. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna move to Barn Sweet Barn 2022. So in 2022, we did a barn sweet barn using Lori Holt's flea market baskets. Can you cut the mic for a second? Okay guys, so sorry, I'm not feeling well. I have been to the doctor, I just have a sinus infection. But I'm gonna show you the Barn Sweet Barn for January through December for 2022. I'm gonna cut the mic. January through December.
Okay, awesome. So thanks so much for watching. Now my nails are orange. Those were Denise's hands. I just needed a second because I'm not feeling that great. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to be here today. I love how December's turned out. <clears throat> it's probably my favorite one. So um, I'm going to show you 2023. 2023 is going to be a new design called Barn Sweet Barn. And it's one PDF. And we talked about it last week. So go, um, I was going to go into detail, but since I'm not feeling that great, I can't go into detail or I'm going to run out of um, voice. <clears throat> this is January's in a frame. And this is January's in a hoop. And we have a video on this. So what we're selling in this is the 25 count cloud and the thread pack. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the stitch quarterly reveal for December 2022. This cute little Santa, uh, Mrs. Claus. I'm going to have to take it home. So in the stitch quarterly, you get um, a pattern. You always get a pattern, <clears throat> the fabric to make the, the item, a needle minder, and the thread, and a bag. And the bag is so cute. It's probably the cutest bag we've ever done. But I'm really excited because now we have our unstitcher, and we have been working on this for over a year with Lori Holt. <clears throat> And um, you can use it to unstitch your piece. I'm going to refer you to the reel that I did that's on social media just because I'm not feeling well. Um, but basically, <clears throat> it works really well because the unstitcher part is really thick. <clears throat> it's also on our YouTube channel. When you unstitch it, this will prevent you from bending your needle. So whenever I unstitch, I always end up bending my needle. So this is going to save um, you having to change needles so much. And I will do a demo in January on how to use this in detail. I just cannot do it today. I'm so sorry. This is our tease for March. If you haven't signed up. For stackables, I showed you this last week. I just wanted to tell you we're half full. So this is our last floss tube for 2022. Hopefully we don't sell out, but this is kind of like your last chance to sign up because it is limited on the number of threads that we're able to buy. And you can go back to uh, last week for all of the details. For Jolly Housewives, I'm going to show you what I stitched on this week. We're going to cut the mics, and I'm just going to let y'all enjoy my stitching so that you don't have to hear my um, raspy voice.
Okay, so that's all I got done, except this one I wanted, all of the ones I just showed, there were no color changes. <clears throat> this one I wanted to talk a little bit about what I did. So on here I changed the red to licorice red. I changed the green to weeping willow. And then what I did is I just picked one of the borders. Instead of doing different borders, I made the same border three times. So this one is weeping willow thread, bamboo thread, roasted chestnut thread. And then I used red for his collars instead of green. And um, I think there was supposed to be um, maybe some green stitching, but I took that out. I'm not going to put buttons in and I did the borders all at one time just because it's easy once you make it once you kind of memorize it so then all I have to do is fill in and this one's the winter petites by Little House Needleworks and then this week I love this pattern um, it's on sale this month but I love it it's the alphabet so what I did is I had Sarah chart it on graph paper. So what it's gonna be is took all the letters from here, charted all of my kids' names, it's gonna be a tree, and then last week when I brought in this, I remember the star at the top. So that same star is gonna go at the top and what you can do with something like this is just grab your green floss. And I have all my green in one acrylic container. So that's what I did is just pulled green from there. And I started this yesterday. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make this into a pillow, frame it, or have uh, Priscilla finish it. I was kind of thinking it would be really cute on a tree, but I'm not really sure. Um, I'll probably finish it today. And so that's kind of, and then Denise wrote the colors I'm going to use. But this is a great project to, if you like an alphabet, you can do something like this. And I kind of got this idea because I went to a Christmas show and there was a lady, she was selling embroidered pillows and like for grandkids, like for grandparents. And it was so expensive and I was like, oh, that'd be a really good idea. So I just did it in cross stitch. And then I also worked on my Christmas list. We'll have a thread pack probably mid-December. And then I'm going to show you Lori's progress. So basically Lori's making this and I'm just following along with her. <clears throat> so I have to do the present and all of this. Um, Obviously, I have not been feeling well, so that's the only reason I'm not caught up. It will get <clears throat> done. <clears throat> Any of these, if you want to know what I'm stitching on, just put a comment. Ashley will answer. Um, I'm not going through every single detail today just because I'm trying to get through the live stream with my voice. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some of Cheryl's pieces. This is stitched on 28 count gobble fabric by Fabric Flare. <coughs> and then she left the girls on the side off. This is Tumbleweeds by Little House Needleworks by Cheryl or legendary girls, sorry. Stitched on 32 count Lugana from her stash. This is the same designer as our Peppermint House series we're doing. This is called Faith Ball at, at Pansy Patch Manor. <clears throat> C 
Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needlework, stitched on 32 count platinum Lugana, called for floss. This one is a pop-up. So this one right here is, Cheryl was in an ornament exchange, so she stitched one of the snowy petites. <coughs> she brought some throwback items. This is a Christmas tree tray she stitched in 1982. And this is a pillow from 2001. And so the fabric is just on top of the pillow. I wanted to show you we're changing the club for Classic Color Works. We've had the club for a couple years now. So now what we're doing is we're going to go alphabetically starting in January. So now, instead of getting it by color, you're gonna get it alphabetically to make sure you have all the colors. So January, then February, and then March. And so we just opened spots. So those spots will fill. Since we've already shipped the December shipment, we open spots, so go ahead, sign up, so that you can get on the list finally for this. In Weeks Dye Works, we will also be doing the same thing, opening spots, but it will not be open until later in the month. These are our two flash sale items from today. Here are some new items, Sweet Swine, City Winter 2, month to month February, <clears throat> and let's go ride a bike, Sweetheart Street. We also got in some mini box frames from 141 Design Company. <clears throat> and then I'm going to tell you the giveaway. So today we're going to give away three PDFs of this pattern and three flosses floss pack. So comment after the video and let me know what project you are looking forward to stitching in the first part of 2023. And I hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and I will see you next year.